writers, in a previous video I gave you a ton of tips about how to grow your authortube channel and during that video I mentioned that I also have this master list of video ideas that I reference when picking topics for authortube. After that video a bunch of you were like please give me that list. So in this video I'm going to be giving you 30 plus ideas for videos to do for your authortube channel. And if you would like that list in more of a printable version, I'm going to be giving that list to my patrons. So if you're interested, if you need help with your writing, author platform, want critiques or help with your authortube channel, definitely check out my Patreon page, which I've linked down below, and I'd love to help you out. This topic was also voted for by some of my wonderful patrons, so thanks guys for voting, and without further ado, let's get into those tips. Okay, so the first video tips I have here on my list are to create videos that share tips, how to tutorials on a bunch of these subtopics, okay? You can do videos on plotting, on writing, on your favorite writing resources. So this can include books, softwares, apps, podcasts, etc. Everybody loves lists. So whenever you can give a list of your favorite things, definitely do that too. These videos could also be about world building, character development, your experience and tips on writing your first draft, editing and revising, critique partners and beta readers, publishing, and that can include traditional or self-publishing, querying and agents, finding writing community and support, and also building author platforms. And that can include social media, websites, newsletters, blogs, all these different kind of things. Especially if you are just starting out or trying to grow your authortube channel and you're struggling, you definitely want to start with these kind of videos first because they are searchable like I talked about in my last video. This means that people are going to be searching questions on these topics and hopefully your video, if you are optimizing it correctly, will be popping up as the perfect answer to that question. I do encourage you guys, however, to stick to these topics that you've actually experienced yourself. So if you're just plotting, do a series of videos on plotting. That's okay. You don't have to know everything, but whatever you are learning, keep a log, keep a list of all of those things that you're learning, all these subcategories within plotting. There are a ton, like I did a video all about how I created my series Bible, all those different kind of things people are looking for help with. So definitely keep a log of those things and try to figure figure out how you can create a helpful video for other writers so you can connect with them. A bonus tip is you can also create templates or tip sheets that go with these tutorial or how-to videos. And if you create those and put them on your author website, you can then direct traffic to your website that they get this free download in exchange for signing up to your newsletter and checking out your website, which again connects you to more people and in turn can grow your AuthorTube channel. If you don't have an author website yet, or newsletter or are struggling to improve your own, I do host an author website bootcamp that includes newsletters. And that next round of bootcamp is actually starting this June. So if you want to get in on that and check out all the details, I do have a link for that in the description below. But let's get back into these video ideas, shall we? My next few ideas are you could do writer's vlogs. So you can do a day in the life, which a lot of people really enjoy watching. You could do a book or author event that you go to. So for example, I've gone to BookCon or I just did an indie book crawl with Mandy Lynn, which was really fun. You could also do videos where you share your writing goals. That's also really encouraging to other writers and inspires them. Another idea is doing writer productivity hacks, book reviews, and this can be on fiction books or writing craft books. You could even do product reviews for writerly products. And if you do a product review, you could also send that to the owners of that product and just tell them that you're promoting their product. These businesses love free promotion and maybe in the future, they'd like to sponsor a video of yours. You never know. During the seasons of NaNoWriMo, Preptober, Camp NaNoWriMo, a lot of people are also looking for vlogs or tips for those times of the year. So definitely consider doing, again, vlogs or tips videos during those months. Some other more unique video ideas I've done as well is to do a video where you share your favorite book or gift ideas for writers or readers. If you have an author website, you could do an author website tour to show people your author website Website, which could drive traffic there, but also inspire them for how they could do their author website. And in that same vein, you could also do a writing space or writing
writing office tour. And this would be for the same reasons. People love to see other people's space and be inspired for their own. Now these are all videos you can do anytime by yourself. But one way that I've massively grown my channel over the last year is to actually network with other writers to do collaborations. And so as you are making friends with other author tubers or other writers, here are some ideas about how you can network, how you guys can share each other's audiences and gain traction for both of your channels and your platforms. So one thing you could do is to just do some kind of collaboration where both of you are sharing tips on a specific topic, but your audience needs to go to the other person's video after yours to get the rest of those tips. You could also do interviews. So this could be with another author tuber, or it could be just with another writer. Maybe they have experience that you don't yet have, but you want to give your audience some credible information on that topic. So you can just do a Q&A, which is really, really fun to do. You could also do these Q&As live, which I'll talk about more about live streams in a little bit. But if you do them live, then people can interact and ask questions live as well, which can be a lot to handle. It can be a little overwhelming your first time, but once you get the hang of it, it is so fun and gains so much traction for your channel. Another thing you can create is a writing tag where you create a certain number of questions that you answer for yourself on your video, like on a specific topic or about your book or something, but then you tag other writers or other author tubers to do it on their channels as well. Now, my tip is to not just create a writing tag yourself and then try to get a bunch of people to do it. Maybe create a tag with at least one other author tuber, maybe two others, and you all can promote this tag to really get it off the ground and have a bunch of people interested in doing it too. In the same vein, you could also network with a couple of other author tubers to create some kind of challenge. So an example of this is the Save the Cat experiment that author Bethany Atazada and I are just finishing up and it has been amazing. We've done 10 episodes, five on her channel, five on mine, and it's definitely massively grown our channels, our subscribers, our engagement, and given a lot of value to both of our audiences. Now, for those of you that have a slightly bigger audience, I do have a few ideas for you guys where you maybe have good engagement and a solid base for your audience, but you want to take things to the next level. And the best way to do that is to really engage with your audience and get them involved even more. So here are a few videos ideas for that. You could do a Q&A. This could be about you or about certain topics. And I really love using my other social media platforms like Instagram or Twitter to put out questions to people and have them submit their questions early so that I can record a video answering it or even go live. So that's my other idea is to do a live stream chat with your audience. And again, you can sort of mesh this up with a Q&A or just a little chat about whatever your audience is begging to talk about. If you guys would like to see a video where I talk more about how to host these live chats, how to manage sort of looking at the chat box and planning what to say and how to make it super engaging. I do have a video where I shared a bunch of tips already, which I'll link below and in the cards, but I could definitely do another one that has even more tips. So just let me know and I can definitely work on that. If doing a live Q&A makes you a little anxious, but you'd like to try going live in a way that is not as intimidating, I definitely suggest trying to host a live word sprint. And with this, I would definitely, again, do it with one or two other author tubers so you guys can combine audiences and just get people engaging, naturally talking about writing in between your word sprints, but also getting writing done together, which is really fun. And finally, if you've been around a little while, you could also sort of celebrate your author tube channel with your audience by doing a vlogiversary. So if you've been around for six months or a year, or however long you want to celebrate, you could just do a, again, live stream where you are naturally talking to your audience. You don't have to do a ton of pre-planning. You could ask for a few questions ahead of time, but then you just get to celebrate and thank your audience. And in that or separate from that, you could also do a giveaway. So people love free stuff. They love answering questions in order to get that free stuff. And again, it's just that much more engagement. So hosting a giveaway, possibly with a vlogversary or something like that is something I've seen people do. Definitely something that I would like to do. Depending on when this video comes out, I've either just passed or I'm about to hit my one year vlogiversary. And yeah, I might not be able to do something on the day, but I'm really excited about doing something soon. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Finally, you guys are probably wondering, hey, when do I get to talk about my books? When do I get to talk about my own writing? And I left this till the end because honestly, if you're trying to grow your AuthorTube channel, the best way to do that, as I've said in my last video on this topic, is to give value. People need to know, like, and trust you first and to understand that you want to help them. And when you show that, 
then they want to know more about you. So after you've started growing and you have this arsenal of awesome videos that are helping people out in some way, in the midst of that, you can then start doing a few videos sort of sprinkled in about your own work, your own stories, your own writing. You could do writing tags that sort of focus on your own story. You could slowly introduce your characters or certain things about your world. You could do periodic writing updates. I love Kim Chance's WIP diaries, for example. And even though that is just about her writing and isn't super searchable, people start to look forward to that because again, she's doing a series and she's given it a unique name to it. So people start looking forward to hearing about her book and hearing about her progress while she's also giving great value. So Kim, I really love that idea. And with this, you could just do sort of regular check-ins. Maybe once a month, you do a video that's dedicated to your own writing. And at the end of the year, you could do sort of like a little recap of like, where has my book gone from point A to point B? That would be a really fun title to say, my writing progress in a year or something like that. All right, now what I want you to do is take some time and use this list to brainstorm specific video title ideas that you can be doing in the next few months. And if you want more help again with your channel or you want all these video ideas in a printable version, again, you can check out my Patreon page and also check out these awesome videos that I think will help you with your AuthorTube channel and with your author platform as well. Let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas that I didn't include on this list and we'll see you in the next video.